Yo, real talk. There's a growing concern inside the Pentagon that almost nobody's talking about. And it doesn't start with Taiwan, it starts 12,000 miles above our heads. If you think America's GPS advantage is still our ace in the hole, buckle up. Because what you're about to hear might change how you see the next war. Could the US theoretically disable China's Baidu satellite system? Technically yes, the capability exists. But here's the question that keeps military analysts up at night. What would actually happen after that? Some believe that without satellites, China's military would be paralyzed, its missiles blind, its jets lost, game over. Others claim it could trigger an immediate escalation. But the truth, it's way more complex, way more dangerous, and honestly, way more fascinating. Let's unpack what's really going on with Baidu and Wei. It's not just about navigation, but about Wo controls the high ground of the 21st century. Baidu isn't just another GPS alternative, it's China's strategic safety net. Let's rewind to 1996, the Taiwan Strait Crisis. During that standoff, China's missile tests went off target, partly because GPS access was restricted. That incident changed everything. China made a vow, never again. Fast forward to today, Baidu 3 is fully operational, with over 150 satellites in orbit. And this isn't about finding the nearest Starbucks. It's about guiding hypersonic missiles, coordinating stealth fighters, and steering carrier groups across the Pacific. Even more surprising, over 130 countries now use Baidu for everything from logistics to disaster management. When that many nations adopt your system, America's GPS monopoly starts to look, well, like Blockbuster in 2008. What really worries US defense planners is that Baidu gives China something it's never had before precision strike capability across the Western Pacific. According to the 2024 U.S. Defense Department's public report, Baidu-guided missiles like the DF-26 could hit targets with incredible accuracy within a few meters. That's like sinking a three-pointer. From Manhattan to Brooklyn. Now, there's a myth out there. Take out the satellites, and China's missiles become useless. Reality check. Modern missiles have backup guidance systems that are surprisingly advanced. Take the DF-21D carrier killer. It starts with an inertial navigation system, using laser gyroscopes, a kind of superhuman sense of balance. Mid-flight, it switches to terrain matching, comparing real-time data with 3D maps. In the final seconds, active radar and infrared sensors lock onto their targets. Even without satellites, these systems can still strike within a few hundred feet. Open source reports suggest Iran once tested similar technology using Baidu data and successfully hit a moving ship. So it's fair to assume China's tech isn't falling behind. Now, let's talk defense. Baidu's protection systems are next level. Each satellite uses frequency hopping signals, advanced phased array antennas, and encryption so complex that electronic jamming becomes extremely difficult. Back in 2020, the US reportedly deployed dozens of jamming systems. Today, those systems face tougher odds partly because Baidu updates its encryption every year. Recent open source intelligence suggests modern jamming success rates are under 15%. Okay, you say, but what if someone just blows the satellites up? Here's the problem with that idea. Both China and the U.S. have anti-satellite capabilities, but using them would be catastrophic for everyone. Simulations by U.S. Space Command show that if major satellites were destroyed, it could create a debris storm what's known as Kessler Syndrome. Thousands of fragments could make low Earth orbit unusable for decades. The ISS, Starlink, weather satellites all could be wiped out. And while both sides could replace satellites, China has invested heavily in rapid launch capability. They can reportedly deploy replacement satellites in under 24 hours using mobile launch trucks. In 2024 alone, China launched eight satellites in three days. It's like trying to outproduce Toyota using a 3D printer. Here's another layer. China's national security law treats Baidu as part of its sovereign infrastructure. That means any attack on it, at least in theory, would be viewed as an attack on national assets. Even more complicated, Baidu now powers parts of the global economy. Oil tankers in the Middle East, crop monitoring in South America, shipping through the Malacca Strait, many depend on Baidu signals. There have even been reports of international aid workers and foreign contractors using Baidu devices for emergency communications. So disrupting Baidu could have ripple effects far beyond the battlefield it could hit global markets. In 2025, China launched a new generation of AI-enhanced satellites. According to public reports, these smart satellites can automatically detect interference and adjust in real time. Some analysts even suggest they could help coordinate defensive countermeasures within minutes. 
At that point, Baidu isn't just a navigation system, it's part of an evolving network for autonomous defense. So back to the big question. If America did target Baidu in a conflict, would China lose its edge? Technically, maybe for a short while. But with multiple guidance systems, rapid launch replacements, and ground-based alternatives, the gap would close fast. And the fallout from space debris to global economic chaos would hit everyone. In a real space war, there are no winners, just collateral damage that could last for decades. China seems to understand that better than anyone. They've built Baidu not to start a war, but to make sure no one else can win one easily. The future of power isn't about woe has the bigger button. It's about woe can still operate when the buttons stop working. And China figured that out back in 1996. The only question left is, when will we? If you found this analysis eye-opening, hit like, subscribe, and turn on the bell, we break down the tech shaping tomorrow's conflicts, today.